What's going on everybody? This is Cody and this will be episode number two of the how to build a ship series that I'm doing for what's now known as lot number 15. In this video I'm going to show you how to build the reactor core that you see here followed in the next video by the bulkhead in between it and the fuel storage compartment where there will be a doorway among all the ribbing that's right here and as you can see we're going to be doing a lot of cutting and pasting so get ready for that. These will be where bulkhead doors come down to seal off compartments in case something should happen as this will be a multi-level vessel, blah 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 blah. Just think how it works inside of a modern day cruise ship or anything of that nature. Down here we're going to have a access port at some point for the gravity access for one of the generators that we're going to be slamming this entire structure onto, which is what you'll see us be able to do in just a few minutes. So, with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and do one quick pass over this, and we'll get straight to the building part of the reactor. Alright, so this is the size of the shell that we're going to want to have. The black area is going to be where the outer limits will be, where you can start putting hull and stuff around that, and putting ribbing and whatnot. So we're going to want to have it about 17 by 4, and approximately 21 blocks in length is about good for this particular section of the ship as this will have to have a whole lot of armor built around it so you don't want to invest too much in the outer ridges so basically what we're going to want is it to look something like this like so and we're going to go ahead and do measures on it as well it's going to be 21 by 4 and it should be another 17 so i'm going to go ahead and put a section right here build it for you and show you what it looks like in the process of being built and it will go in there so here's what we do. We start off by building the entire base, as I mentioned before, and this is going to be four sections thick. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we have the entirety of the black outline, which you can consider that as a form of primer or boundary outline. Uh, mostly will be surrounded by armor and bulkhead walls and whatnot, as I mentioned before. And the blue line, once again, is only really there to demonstrate where the center of mass and whatnot is. You can have this any color you want and uh, I will not cry if you choose any color that's not blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making a slot to put reactor cores and catwalks in the middle. That way you have excess ports and everything that you could possibly not want. We're going to go ahead and cut this out because I built this a little bit differently. I pre-built everything as I clearly demonstrated a couple times. That way I could speed this along for you guys so it wouldn't be like a three hour video. So let's go ahead and continue on. We've got the entirety of the base level done. We just have to um, fill it out with the gray blocks which will make up some of the shielding for the reactors should you take a side impact or bottom of the hull impact. And keep in mind this is going to be several more layers of uh, block thick. There's going to be a under keel basically to where the ship won't be split in half if hit by another ship hard enough, which I've seen happen. So we're going to go ahead and put spaces every three to four outward. Um, in this case, I haven't built the ridge, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have the bottom as well while we're, while we're talking about that. So let's go ahead and put another two layers, I believe. Yes, two layers. Again, I'm doing this at, by narration because I would not be able to pay as much attention to what I am doing if I was uh, doing all this talking. So now we got the fourth section completed. There's going to be a notch cut there, and I'll show you why in a little while. Um, we're going to continue here. We're going to um, get the reactor cores ready to be put in. So we're going to have to put the <coughs> excuse me. We're going to have to put the connection pieces here, the conveyors. I've already sealed off the um, the boundary lines, and you'll have something that looks just like this when you're ready to start outfitting this this particular section. Uh, we're going to go ahead and copy this because it's going to stop being cookie cut here in a minute because um, we're going to start outfitting the reactor cores into the compartment. We're just going to go ahead and get them relatively close and there we go. We're going to take one section and cut notches into them and then we will um, marry those back together when um, the need arises. Here we're going to go ahead and start putting the reactors and I did put these reactors on in the wrong direction so you'll see me change that eventually so um, if you see an inconsistency with the result you'll understand why so we're gonna go ahead and put two sections tall so it's gonna be two blocks higher above the reactors per section which will give you five blocks total 
per section. So one five up, then a floor, five up, and then a floor. So basement, floor. Actually, no, it's going to be four. Sorry about that. It will be four if you include the bottom floor for the reactor. So conveyor, reactor, conveyor, and then another layer up, and then conveyor, floor, rea uh, conveyor. Yes. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and start putting our catwalk in. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this blue line and lower it down as we just needed it more to um, place hold where everything was going to be temporarily. So we're going to go ahead and delete that real quick so we can get the catwalk in place. And then um, eventually we'll start doing the fitting out process of this area. But at first we're just going to start putting in the conveyor air support catwalks and whatnot. That way we have something to walk on. And... Um, I haven't exactly figured out where I want to put the ladders just, or not ladders, but staircases just yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be in one general region. Now, we're going to go ahead and put this stuff down here, and we're going to want to go underneath everything when everything is said and done and delete those extra blocks if we go the route that I did previously. Now, we're going to go ahead and just do it one, two lines at a time to prevent that problem from happening again. And then we go ahead and get ready to move up again. And each floor is going to, uh, there's going to be three floors for reactors. There's going to be eight per floor on the first two levels. And then there will be th three rows on the, the third level. And here we have me correcting the um, reactor's alignment issue. And we complete the conveyor tubes. Now the entirety of the reactor system is completely connected together without the top set. And now that the top set is in place, we can go ahead and make sure that all the catwalks and everything are in place. We're going to make sure that there's two blocks above the reactors, which will be part of where the reactor core is. And there's going to be more ship above that. So damage to the reactor core is going to be a lot less likely as it will be one of the most heavily armored places of the ship. Now we're going to go ahead and put the blue lines in again to demonstrate where the center of gravity is. And also as a good connector point, that way when you do cutting and pasting, you don't have your entire day wrecked by a bad position which I've had to take 30 minutes to fix before because uh, we didn't pay attention. So now we're going to go ahead and slap the section that will be for the, the power cargo, the fuel cells, will go. The uh, system is going to be separated by uh, various different subsystems. So anyway, that's going to complete this video. If you hit it, hit, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Be sure to write, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in episode number three when we get to work on the cargo area.